guys, it's Daniel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in my bedroom and we're going to be reading a book. Let me hang on a sec just while I get this book. It's called The Smartest Giant in Town. We might be able to read half of this today and half in another video. Let's see. So first you have to open this book. Then you have to get to another page. So we are going here's the page. I'll read it and show you pictures. George was a giant well, George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown, brown sandals and the same old patchy belt. I wish it, he was. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town. He said sadly. Okay. Can you see that? I'll hold it. Okay, on to the next page. When, but one day, George noticed his new shop it was full of smart clothes, so he bought a smart shirt, smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart clothing cloth. Some socks with diamond at the side and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I am the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. So let's. In the shop, he was about to come home, and he heard a sound. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's very long and very cold. I wish I had a warm scarf. He took off his stripy tie and it didn't match my socks anyway, he said. And he wrapped it round the giraffe's neck so I made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giant. Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strode towards home, he sang to himself, My tie. Is a scarf or a cold laugh, but look me up and down on this nothing giant and dance. George came to a river on a boat. George came to a river on a boat store. A goat who was bleeping them. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boot boat. Cheer up, said George. And wait, I didn't show you this page, did I? So, there you go. Cheer up, said George, and he took away his new white shirt. It kept coming undone anyway, he said, as he tied, tied the mask to the goat's bill and made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. George stroked and sang himself. 
I tie the scarf for a cold giraffe. A shirt on a boat is the same for a goat. But look at me up and down. I'm the smartest land in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house was a little white mouse with lots of baby mitts. We all squeaked. What's the matter, asked George. George. It's a house, Mother Mouse. It burned down and now we have nowhere to live. Cheer up, George. He took off one of his sandals. It's given me blisters anyway, he said. As the mouse and her baby scrambled inside, the shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind as he hopped. He hopped. He seemed to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt is a boat for a sail for a gun. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look at me up and down. I'm the giant, the smartest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside the tent stood a fox who was quite. Wait, I didn't show you this bit. I don't keep on going. George came to a campsite beside the tent was a fox who was quiet. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag, except the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Cheer up, said George. And he took a full suit of diamonds and said, Those tickle my toes. Anyway, he said, as a fox snuggled into him, it made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. I didn't show you this page. And now I need to show you this page because I can make it. Now I'm going to put the next page. George came to a, a scratchy bug beside the bug, so the dog who was howling was a master, asked George. It's this bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe path. He took up his smart new belt. It was squishing my tummy anyway, he said. And he laid it down with the bird. It made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. Hit this page. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf or a cold drawer. My shirt's a boat with sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt happened to 
how to do it was crossing my back, but my trousers are My trousers are falling down. I'm the coolest guy in hotel. Suddenly, George bounced that and shook I am not the smartest. He stood on one foot and I thought I'd better get back to the other and buy some more clothes. He decided he turned the hat the way back home. This is so funny. I'm not going to show you this page. But I can show you that page. Actually, look. But when he got it, it was closed. Oh. But when he got there, it was close. Oh no, cried George, as he sank down onto the doorstep and he ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals may have to mat on his way. They, they are there out of the corner of my eye. I saw a bag with something Sammy brought up. He took a closer look. My gown, he yelled. My dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coolest guy in town, he cried, and he danced back home along the road. Outside his front door stool, all the animals had helped. They were carrying a huge present. Come on, George, he said. Open it. But there was until the room inside was a beautiful gold breaker, a crown, and a card. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. Gold, crown, and the other, and 